All right, guys, McCulloch FG 5700 AK. The customer brought it to me, and, you know, it's in okay shape. You know, it's been sitting outside. His complaint was it wasn't making any power. So what I did was I turned it on, and I took James Condon's advice, and I reflashed the outlets. I just used a 12-volt battery. I stuck them in the outlet real quick, and brrr, and... It came on, meaning there was voltage, but there was only about 30 volts. So basically what that meant was something was gone. And this is a brushless where you have uh, a capacitor in there instead of an automatic voltage regulator. So what I did was I took the cover off. I de-energized the capacitor. I ordered, a, or actually I tested it and it tested bad. And I ordered one and I put it back in. So this video is going to show you me uh, de-energizing the capacitor and then uh, putting the new one in. And uh, hopefully she'll run and we'll be happy. All right, we'll see you soon. Okay, guys. I'm gonna de-energize a capacitor with an insulated screwdriver. It's insulated plastic handle and rubber. Here we go. Nope. No bang, no pop, no nothing out of this one. I was expecting to hear a bang or a pop. Nothing. Okay, maybe it's just dead. We'll see. All right, guys, here you go with the capacitor testing. I have the capacitor that came out of that uh, generator. And if you notice, it's rated at 26 microfarads, plus or minus 5%. So that's like plus or minus one, one and a half, 500 volts AC. I've got my cheap um, Amazon capacitor tester. And I'll it's supposed to be 26, so I'll dial it into the 200 range, all right? And let's see if I can hold the camera with one hand and do this stuff with the other. All right, I'm gonna put the leads, one in there and one in there. And if, oh, you know what? Let me try it a different way. All right, one lead here. It doesn't matter which one the leads go in. All right, there's my leads. And if you look, 10.9, 10.8. It's supposed to be 26, plus or minus one, one and a half. So you know that capacitor's bad. Now I got another capacitor here, big boy, that I had downstairs that I'm gonna use for my welder. And this is 56,000 microfarad, 56,000. Now I haven't tested this. I haven't tested this one yet. I hit the camera by mistake, sorry about that. So 56,000. So let's see, if you look at the meter, 56,000. So you got 2,000, and that's uh, 56,000. So it'd be 20 megafarad. Uh, so we'll put it on, let me see. It'll go to 2,000 micro, and this thing says 56,000 micro. U is micro. So 2,000 is too small, so we'll have to go on the 20 megafarad, which will show up as a decimal. All right, so we put it on 20 megafarad. Let's connect these things up here and see what we got. Let's see. All right, hold on. Come on. Should be 5.6. Oh, come on, guys. Let me get a good reading on here. Let me hold the meter with my hand. Come on. You need six hands, guys. Okay. Come on. Uh, 
Well, it looks like 5.5 .5 was the reading, which is 55,000 microfarads. So 56,000, it's pretty good. It's hard to hold it on this thing, but 5.51, which is 55,100 microfarad, um, that basically was what it was. So it's a good cap. That one's bad. So just so you know, this tester, I'll put the link for it. It's called a Newcastle XC6013L. It's literally $20. It's a very inexpensive tester. And I tell you, it works good. It really does. This one here, maybe because of the terminals, I was getting some spotty readings. But I know this cap is good. A friend of mine gave it to me. He did test it. I know it's good. So I'll trust that 55,100 reading. But just to show you guys, if you take an ohm meter and try and test a capacitor, all you're going to do with an ohm meter is show if it's taking a charge or not. That's all you're going to show. It's not going to show if the capacity of it is correct. Okay, you can use an ohm meter to tell if it's working, but it doesn't tell you if it's good. An ohm meter will just tell you if it'll take a charge. A capacitance meter, which measures farads, that will tell you if it's good. All right, back to the video. All right, guys, here's the Champion Generator, or McCulloch, I should say, not Champion, McCulloch. I got confused because it was yellow. A uh, FG5700 AK. Let me put you in the stand here. Mm. All right. Basically, what this was, it would start, it would run fine. It was only putting out about 30 volts of electricity. So it needed a capacitor. 26 microfarad, 450 volts. Basically, what was in there, but this sucker's 50. Bucks. So what I have to do, I have to take off that panel and I have to put on the new capacitor and then try it out. So let's get busy with that. Four screws hold this panel on. Guys, tonight I'll be on with my special guest James Condon again to talk about generator repair. We'll be on at 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. Eastern time tonight, maybe a little bit after, depending, but roughly 9 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you all there. We had some real good conversation last week, and uh, we had small engine mechanic Mike from 805 Road King's channel. He was uh, in the discussion, so it was pretty good. We'll see who shows up tonight. We also had a viewer um, ask a question in the comments, and hopefully James can answer that for him if he hasn't done so already. All right, here's the panel. All right. And if you see, the capacitor where it mounts is down there, and there's a little protection here, a little piece of paper, something that goes behind it. So I'm gonna, let me see if the camera is zoomed in enough on it. Uh, you can see right down there where it mounts there's two yellow wires I'm going to connect the capacitor to the two wires I don't there's not a positive or negative on this so I'm just going to connect them and there's insulation all right so I'm going to Put that on here oh one thing i forgot zip ties there were zip ties holding it on let me get a couple of zip ties i usually keep zip ties in a big container of zip ties all different colors all different flavors Insulating paper. Put the insulating paper behind there. 
make it easier, I'll start the loop on the zip tie. The insulating paper. There's one. There's actually notches in that round mounting plate for the capacitor for the zip ties to go in. Okay, I like to cut off the zip ties. That should be it. We'll take our panel. Mm -hmm. Let's see which way does this thing go. Uh, this is on. It goes. Oh, hang on, which way does this go? Pretty sure it's this way. Decal was on top. I'm hoping this solves it without having to reflash it or do anything. I talked to James a while ago. I asked him if I need to reflash it. He says he didn't think so. So we'll see. Hopefully. On these type of generators where it's just a bad capacitor it's pretty easy standard fix so but crazy weather today there's even ants out it's 70 degrees it should be 40s and see these little ants on the ground so they're all screwed up wondering what's going on today with this crazy weather there's one two And four. Okay. That should be it. Zip ties back on there. Alright, now I'm gonna move this. Actually, where's the exhaust point? The exhaust is pointing right into my garage. I don't want to have that. So I'm gonna move her around. All right, so I'm gonna start her up. I'm gonna see how she runs. And then we're gonna see if we have voltage. So choke out, fuel on. Make sure we have fuel. Doesn't look like I got much fuel. Let me grab some fuel. I always keep three or four gallons in my truck because you never know when you're going to need it. Yeah, it looks pretty bone dry, so Let me throw a little bit in there. I'll throw a gallon or so. Let's see what happens. It's about a gallon and a half.
Let's see what we got. fires. Push that choke in. Put it back down. We had 120, it was 124 volts, roughly 123, between 61.8 62 hertz. So that's a win-win in my book. So now I can call this customer up. Capacitor was like 50 something dollars with shipping and a little charge for labor. But uh, thanks again to Mr. Condon, James, you're the best. And uh, something simple like this, when you have a capacitor and you're getting low voltage, when it's a capacitor type and not the brush type, just change a capacitor and uh i tell you win-win for me and uh win-win for the customer all right i like that all right guys we will talk to you soon again tonight we'll see you tonight at nine o'clock live with myself and mr condon to talk generators all right guys we'll see you soon bye-bye